In this problem, we're told that Rhonda ate three-eighths of a pizza and Marvin ate one-eighth of the same pizza. What fraction of the pizza did Rhonda and Marvin eat? So, or maybe Randa, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But regardless, right, we're solving for a fraction here. So the first thing I would do is draw the pizza. Right? And it could be any kind of pizza. I'll draw a rectangular pizza. There we go. Okay. So this pizza is cut into eighths. So I'll cut this into eight slices. One slice, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices. Now, if I had drawn this perfectly, each slice would be exactly the same size. Right? They would each be one eighth of the total. Right? Because to say that something is one eighth, that means you can split up your shape into eight pieces. And every piece would then be equal and one eighth. And that's what this is saying. So Rhonda or Randa or whatever here ate three eighths of the pizza, which means Maybe these three eighths right here were eaten by Randa. Right? So those are gone. And then Marvin comes along and eats one eighth. Maybe this one right here. And what are they asking? Well, they're just saying what fraction of the pizza was, was eaten by Randa and Marvin. And if we, you know, just even just lightly color this in to figure out what's happening, we can see that the total area that's shaded is half of all of the pizza. And a quick way of doing this is just to add the fractions. Three eighths of Randa's, three eighths of the pie was eaten by Randa, one eighth was eaten by Marvin. That's four eighths, right? We just add the numerators. We're not touching denominators here because what we're doing when we add is counting the number of eighths. So if we added eight and eight, that would change it to sixteenths, and then that's not what we want, right? So here, four eighths is one half, right? Four goes into eight twice, so it's, it's a half of the total. And you can see it in the picture. So the answer is D, one half. All right, thanks.